I mean, do these suit me? Yeah. <laughs> I've got some new hoops. I feel very EastEnders in them. Is that is that rude? You can nod. You can nod and shake your head. No. Yeah. No. Hello. Today's a very exciting day. Me and my pal are going to um, IKEA because my pal has just moved and we need some new things. And I want to get a hanging basket, um, some more plants. Another one. Yes. <laughs> All right, DJ Khaled. <laughs> That was probably the best joke I've ever made, um, and it's so it's a, there's a there's a there's a strong top what, 1000 IKEA. I'm even thinking Christmas vibes today. Um, it's exciting, and I'm not even driving for once. Oh, by the way, I'm not driving. Just so you know, just in case you see the, the world whizzing by, and neither hands are on the steering wheel. Which uh, go through the estate. Don't you just love what, watching other? Yeah, don't you just love watching other people get road rage? It's just the best. Because I'm the best driver in the world and I never call anyone a beepity beep beep beep. <laughs> oh, my battery's dying! If you're new to my videos, hello, my name is Lauren. Uh, we've just arrived at IKEA. How many times can I say IKEA in this video? I think that can be the thing you drink to. Oh my god, get out the road. Uh, one of the things I use. Smile at you. <laughs> Smile at you! <laughs> so, one of the things which makes you win at Ikea is if you park next to the exit. So go down this one at the end. Okay. Yeah. Um, because, no, that's not the one at the end, is it? Oh. <laughs> oh no, not this one. <laughs> I've got someone right, right up my backside. <laughs> Where am I going? There's the exit. This is the space. Yay! Yay! Isn't it? So last time I came to Ikea, a few of you complained that I missed the showroom. But today, I'm in fact going around the showroom. Are you happy? That sofa is amazing. I mean, everyone would fight for that space though, wouldn't they? I mean, that's just perfect, isn't it? <laughs> What's happening? This doesn't work. I'm gonna get this shelf, focus please. I'm gonna get this shelf because at the moment I've got this one with like the wooden shelf bit and it doesn't match. So I'm gonna get this shelf. It's not even focusing, come on. Yay, there. Last time I was in Ikea, I walked through so many people's farts. Have you walked through any farts yet? No. No, so people are, people are behaving themselves today. Lovely. Very nice. Ikea outfit. <laughs> Before going downstairs to the home organisation area, I feel like I need some fuel. So I have a cold pressed apple juice for taste test. Lovely. Try it. And I got a maple and pecan muffin. It's very, it feels moist. Tastes a bit like spongy cardboard, but I like the fact they tried. <laughs> Didn't taste like it maple or pecan. Can I try your cheesecake? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just with my hand. <laughs> oh! Mmm! <laughs> Yours is better than mine. So, final um, review of the muffin. As, she, as my pal said, it's a good cake. <laughs> massive, massive YouTuber fail. Completely forgot my second battery, so my phone died before we even got downstairs, which is brilliant. But the most amazing, incredible, bizarre thing happened today. I was recognized in Ikea. Still can't even believe those words have come out of my mouth. Uh, so Jill, if you're watching this, hello. It was amazing to meet you and your family. Um, I was a bit, I was a bit like, just bleh. so sorry if I was just um, <laughs> a blushing mess. But thank you so much for saying hi. And it was, yeah, it was absolutely amazing. I hope you got uh, everything you wanted and didn't go mad. Cause it was so, so quiet today. It was a great day to go to Ikea. Um, 
yeah, it just, <laughs> I've been recognized out in the real world about how many times now? About five times and it never ceases to amaze me and just blow me away. So yeah, I remember once I got a message from somebody who was in Hampstead and she was just like, I saw you today, but I was too scared to say hi. Anyway, I'm just really glad. Uh, so if you do ever see me, please say hi. And Jill, it was lovely to meet you today. Please comment below if you're watching this so I can say hi in the comments. My uh, pal that I was with was like, that was amazing, but you did not need that ego boost. And I was like, <laughs> um, oh, let me show you. I actually left Ikea today without buying a new plant. And I feel like this is, that is a massive win. But I did buy one yesterday. Uh, let me show you. One of the things I went into Ikea today for, well, probably the only thing were, um, a couple more of these hanging things and they didn't have them well they did but they didn't have the chains on them but yesterday i got this baby from uh where was it home b and q b and q and it is absolutely beautiful love it so much and i love the fact that both of them look like that together so when my blinds are shut they look oh I mean I've just like tied them with string which doesn't look great but they look very sweet together I ended up getting this this frame which I was gonna put up there and now looking at it I don't know if it's too big hmm who knows and in this is what I got I got a bin because I need a bin and I've got two really cute plates with like the little wavy edge. They're both the same. I've got two of those. And a candle, which is uh, the flavour of the muffin that I ate. <laughs> it was really funny because when I was eating that muffin, I noticed Jill and her family like spot me vlogging not me but like look at me and I was like oh god I hate vlogging in public it's it I, I look like such an idiot not knowing that they knew this idiot well Jill did so shout out Jill <laughs> hello everybody so for you lot you saw the last footage in the last clip like two seconds ago two seconds ago but for me it was a week ago and I haven't filmed all week which has felt amazing thank you so much for being patient and just letting me have a break and me do me uh, as it were um this video is going to turn into something random so right now i'm going to do a haul very exciting i'm starving so to do a food haul when i'm starving is going to be like <laughs> torture obviously not that <laughs> not awful torture just you know reasonable so here is the start of the tour. There's more in the bag, but I can't fit it all on the table. So let's start in the good place. <laughs> Some sour cream and lime. Am I even focusing? No. Sour cream and lime. Tortilla chips, which I think look great. I love a bit of lime in a crisp. So there's that. Um, dark chocolate rice cakes. I don't really know why. I... I'm not opposed to buying biscuits. I just have for so many years bought these. Oh, focus please. For so many years I've bought those. I'm just in the habit. Not these exact ones. I haven't tried them before, but yeah, I'm just in the habit of buying them. So that's that. Baby spinach, bananas. I know that so many of you are gonna comment. Oh my God, look at how much packaging they use. I know the packaging in the UK is a ridiculous thing. And at the moment, I don't have enough money. I know you're gonna say, it's not even expensive, like I do it in Tesco. Whatever, at the moment, this is all from Lidl. Um, it's just the way I've shopped this time because money's really tight and um, time is tight as well. And I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna go. I know that's not an excuse, whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> Just, yeah. Uh, avocados, chestnut mushrooms, green beans. I could not resist these. Chocolate, honey gingerbread with nuts and dark chocolate. I bought these because um, they're like little biscuit things. You know what, later we'll do a taste test. Um, 
I bought these because uh, my best friend is coming today tonight and she loves little Christmas stuff. So I got those for her. <laughs> uh, lentils. Now I've never bought lentils in my freaking life, but I want to start eating more of them. So that's what I did. Spaghetti, which is 20p. That is ridiculous. Some wraps, salmon, some noodles, blueberries. White pita bread, mozzarella. Tricolour quinoa, I mean, who do I think I am? Also, never bought quinoa raw <laughs> before. Let's just do it like this. Uh, black pepper grinder, because I don't have one. Two tins of chopped tomatoes. A seed mix thing. Some lemons, some hummus, some plum tomatoes. Some cumin, because I'm going to roast some. Uh, no, not roast. I'm going to flavour some chickpeas with it. Cream cheese, conditioner, and some <clears throat> vitamin C things that are great to drink before you go to bed if you've been drinking because they work wonders on the headache. Got a bit of road rage going outside. So this car, the white one, was left outside yesterday because it's obviously broken down um, and they're trying to get it on. But this guy's just been bibbing. Lady D. Lady. I just do not get personalised number plates, I think they're stupid. Um, and you can't get up the road, ha ha ha! Now everyone along the road is bibbing because they don't realise that this is ro this road's ah, ha, ha. This road's blocked and this road up here is a no through road, you can't drive up there, you can only drive down it, so you lot screwed. I stand by the fact that if you want to make a dish look professional, just put sesame seeds on it, honestly, it's the way forward in life really. Um, I just whipped up this, never made it before, might taste awful. It's got some corn in it that I bought about two weeks ago, but obviously because it's not meat, it doesn't go off. Um, that needed eating, so I've got some corn in there, uh, some noodles, a courgette that was way past the sell-by date and was a bit squishy, but hey. Uh, green beans, mushrooms, noodles, sweet chilli, put some ginger in there, soy sauce, did I say that? Anyway, can't go wrong, really. In, in theory. Anyway, let's try it. Oh, oh, we got movement. Anywho. Let's try and get a bit of everything. I've got the windows wide open so it doesn't smell out the room. And it's probably gone cold already. No, it's not, it's steaming. It's steaming. Right. Hmm. I mean, I wouldn't order it in a restaurant, but I mean, it could do with some coriander. I'm not gonna lie. They didn't have any in Lidl. They had every other spice. No, they had every other herb. There you go, thank you, Lauren. Uh, apart from that one. Anyway. <laughs> uh -uh -uh. Good morning, good morning. It's now the following morning at, well, it's nearer midday, but you don't know, so. <laughs> uh, it's Saturday, I had a lovely lay-in, feels great. You can see all the mess in uh, the mirror, so I'll just stand like this. Um, my best friend was meant to stay last night, uh, but she ended up not, so we're going to do a taste test alone. I just opened them because I thought it would be uh, a bit annoying, because I know that I said that I'd do a taste test yesterday, and if I don't, you guys might be like, you didn't taste them on camera. You're not going to be like that, but hey, they smell... Oh. So this is honey... Gingerbread, itching my ear with, uh, what are we doing? Honey gingerbread with nuts in dark chocolate. Oh. Oh my goodness. RIP packet. <laughs> I'm in the car and it's freezing cold. Welcome to the final part of my video where you and I, you and I, are gonna have a little chat. And, um, oh, if you remember the video where I picked up that bear from the wall, um, he was in my car for quite some time. And then last week I uh, donated him to charity 
because I couldn't get over the fact that he was wet and then had dried and then what if he had fleas. So I just donated him to the charity shop which, who didn't know his story. So hopefully a little child or person, don't judge age, uh, will find him and they will live happily ever after together. The end. I wanted to have a little chat just to say again, and I mentioned it earlier in the video, thank you so much for being so understanding about me taking a small break for my mental health. Um, I love making two videos a week, but at the moment I've been so busy and I want to get to a point where I like pre-record so I have a backlog. Until last week, I literally was trying to film something two hours before my upload time. That's why I was delayed, that's why things, because you know, delays happen, and it just wasn't good for my mental health. I was constantly thinking, I need to film, I need to film. And it wasn't, I wasn't produce it, producing videos that I really wanted to make. There's loads that I really want to make that are more specific rather than just me, obviously I'm still going to do both, do not worry, but I want to do ones talking about topics, doing about things, and I don't, I need to spend time writing them, and like, as much as I'm going to keep my incredible five-star personality in there, I feel like they need a, they need more attention, and you guys deserve more attention, so obviously I'm still going to do these twitty, what I eat in a day videos, but I'm going to, oh my god, there's one person each side of me now, and this is cringe. Um, I am, oh god, could you stare anymore, mate? I'm going to do both. I just want to put more effort in so that I'm producing more things that I'm proud of. There you go. Um, in terms of my mental health, I am doing so much better. I kind of spiralled a couple of weeks ago when um, my sister-in-law... My sister-in-law made this group on Google Photos for pictures of my niece and as much as it's incredible to see all those Google Photos, I didn't realise that I had lo loads of old photos stored on there and I spent some time looking through these pictures and I was tiny in these pictures and it kind of made me think, oh my god, what's happened, oh my god. And I just want to say this, behind every kind of emotion like for instance i can look at a tiny picture of myself and be like oh my god how can i not be there but behind every single feeling like that there's an emotion and there's a there's something that we are in need of so i tried to kind of dissect it i was like right i'm feeling like a letdown i'm feeling like a failure okay what does that mean what does that translate as and i kind of like picked at my own brain and i realized that i just wanted to feel proud of myself right now it didn't matter that I put on weight. It didn't, well, you know, it did. It doesn't matter. I'm so much kinder to myself now generally, but I was like, I just want to feel proud. How am I, okay, so great. So I just want to feel proud of myself. How am I going to do that? I'm going to um, go for a swim. I'm going to feel better. I'm going to move my body. I also work from home, as you know. So sometimes I go for like a couple of days without going outside and it's so dangerous um that's also why i haven't felt like filming because i felt like a blob um just like a an uninspired potato not wanting to film and obviously i think that's totally normal so i this week have been for a couple of swims i did a body pump class and i have finally kind of like rerouted the need for exercise in my head to be more about my general movement of my body and health rather than I need to be that tiny person again and I feel so much prouder now than I did last week and these feelings can feel so intense can't they like you can think oh my god I can feel this monumentous weight literally on top of me but only it, it only can take a few days and a few actions to make yourself feel so much better so if you're feeling a certain feeling try and dissect it in your head maybe even write it down and like maybe do like a you're not allowed to call them brainstorms brainstorms anymore are you like mind chart so like write the feeling and then write how it feels and try and like work out what you actually need to feel better but then equally there are times where I'm just like I don't even want to feel better and I just want to sulk in my own misery and that's fine too because <laughs> it's fun being miserable sometimes <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed my little my little um video in Ikea 
and stuffs. I am going to do a video this week on decorating my studio for Christmas. Um, still overwhelmed that Jill said hi for, uh, in Ikea. Hello, Jill, again. And, um, yeah. Exciting times ahead. Also, be kind to yourself at this time of year because Christmas is hard. The holidays are hard. We are too hard on ourselves. We break ourselves for eating. Just know that whatever you eat, you do not have to work it off. It is You don't have to punish yourself by restricting food, by over-exercising. You are allowed to eat, you are allowed to enjoy yourself, and you are allowed to own your own um uh, own your own emotions so if you're at a table with family and friends and they're talking about something that makes you feel uncomfortable you are allowed to say I'm sorry I don't want to talk about this because I know that weight and size and uh, situations oh you know are you dating yet or have you met anyone yet or da -da -da, things get spoken about and sometimes it can put us in bad mood so you you, you hold the power you hold the power to your own life <laughs> I was going to do a video like how to survive the holidays, but now it's like past Thanksgiving. Should I do that video? Comment below. Anyway, thank you so much for messaging me. I have got quite a few followers recently, so if you are a new one, make sure you say hello in the comments. Thank you so much to everyone who has uh, supported me and bought me a coffee. There is a link below if you would like to do that. Remember, you are the wizard of your own life. I look like Jeffree Star. Hi, how are you? That was the worst Jeffree Star accent in the world. If you know what I'm talking about, yes, and if you don't, Taylor, that was for you. <laughs> I'm going to aim for a video to be out on Sundays. Um, if there's an extra one, and if I film, it'll be out on Wednesdays. But I'm going to aim for one a week. If I can do two, then great. Because I'd much rather be feeling better about myself, keeping that mental health going, and pre uh, presenting myself in the best way, rather than just, like, running on a hamster wheel. I'm sure you guys get it because you know because you're amazing if you're a new subscriber say hi in the comments are you looking forward to christmas are you not you know let's let's have a chat down there down below so make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't already and i'll see you next week bye 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 bye